gas chromatography is an analytical technique used to separate and detect the chemical components of sample mixture to determine their presence or absence and or quantities. The components of a gas chromatography include a mobile phase, usually consisting of helium or nitrogen, a molecular sieve, which removes unwanted hydrocarbons, water vapor and oxygen, the column, which in this case has a coil shape, and within it the stationary phase, which is usually silicon, grease or wax. Then finally, a detector, which can be a flame ionization detector, a thermal conductivity detector or an electron capture detector. So how is gas chromatography carried out? First, the sample is introduced into the gas chromatograph right before the column, often using a syringe. Then the molecules are separated based on how they interact with the stationary phase inside of the column. Like separates like. Therefore, nonpolar columns are good for separating nonpolar analytes, and polar columns are good for separating polar analytes. After the different components of the samples have been separated, they exit the column one after another. They are then detected, and the results are displayed in a gas chromatogram. This chromatogram displays peaks of the generated current from the detector against retention time, i.e. when does the sample component exit the column from the time that it was injected and for how long does it exit the column. The area under the peak gives us information about the concentration of the sample. More area means more concentration and less area means less concentration. Then by using gas chromatograms from different samples and checking their retention time and peaks we can determine what is present in an unknown sample by finding a match. Furthermore, gas chromatography can be combined with mass spectrometry to further analyze the results in a process called gas chromatography mass spectrometry or GCMS. You can find out more about that in this video. Until next time everyone.